welcome to my channel, Life's Little Things. In case you are new here, my name is Karina, and if you are new, why don't you hit that subscribe button? I would love to have you become a part of our amazing community. We needed some groceries in this house, so we did a little store run. Let me show you the things that we ended up getting for this week. We are starting out with these. We actually have a little box full of them. It's a mixture, Kung Pao chicken, teriyaki chicken. These are just nice to have on hand for lunches and dinners when, you know, there's really not much cooking going on here. <laughs> yeah, beef, teriyaki, and then a spicy teriyaki beef. We have a bag of apples. We have some corn on the cob. A little small bag of potatoes. A big bag of mild cheddar shredded cheese. Me and Jason are thoroughly enjoying these little laughing cow wedges lately. He's been eating them on crackers and we've been eating them with apples. Really good for lunches and snacks. Timothy has requested chicken enchiladas and for my chicken enchiladas I use diced green chilies and then a mixture of mild and medium sauces. Some ginger for a recipe. Parmesan cheese couple bags of salad, cherry tomatoes, needed more Kleenex, asparagus, Italian breadcrumbs, some Catalina dressing, eggs, egg beaters, couple kits of taco shells, and then a low carb flour tortillas. How was Father's Day this year? I know with all the stuff that's going on this year, things are just a little different. And that's what happened here in our home. It's just a little different. This week ended up being the week that Jason was headed back to work. So his Father's Day ended up being pretty much a work day, poor guy. Jason started his Father's Day out by lawn care. He mowed the lawn, he pulled weeds, sprayed the stubborn weeds that will not come out. I think that they're connected to the middle of the earth sometimes. It just takes a lot of effort to try and pull some of those weeds. Meanwhile, I was in the house getting laundry done, washed, dried, folded, towels done, washed, dried, folded, and ready for him to be able to pack all of that stuff up to head back to the cottage. Of course, there's always dishes to do, so we did some dishes and got the kitchen all cleaned up because I really like to start Monday mornings, especially Monday mornings, with a good clean kitchen because the weekend we are usually a little more lazy on the weekend and we tend to not do the dishes every single day. <laughs> so always on Sunday I want to get the dishes done, the kitchen cleaned up, and have it ready for Monday morning. For his Father's Day meal this year, Jason chose a Mexican restaurant called The Plaza. We did take out. Justin said that the parking lot was packed. He thinks that there was a lot of people inside the building too, so we're assuming they're open again, but we didn't take the chance. We just keep doing pickup and not taking the chance of that. And then Jason started loading the car and getting ready to head back to the cottage for the week. This week, his work ended up getting a hold of him, and they said that they are actually going to bring a lot of them off from the furlough, and they were going to have him start going back for week-long stretches every single week. I mean, it's bittersweet for me. I love having him here every other week, but it's nice that he's back at work every week. I don't know. It's bittersweet. But this week, starting this week, he's gonna be there Monday through Friday, every week again. He will be home Saturday and Sunday. Well, I didn't have breakfast this morning and I'm gonna take advantage of having these English muffins and I'm gonna make me a breakfast sandwich for lunch. I had some ham lunch meat, so I figured I would fry that up and Make a 
scrambled egg sandwich is what I'm gonna end up doing. <laughs> Top it with a little bit of cheese. I might have to have a fork with this <laughs> sandwich. I think we're gonna overflow. But that's a good hearty lunch full of protein. Oh my goodness, me and Jason are really, really, really stuck on a show and it is called The Good Wife. We started out with it on Hulu and it just, with all the commercials, we ended up finding it on Amazon commercial free, which we were so excited about. I watched the first one and I had called Jason and I was like, I'm gonna save this because I, I had watched the pilot and I was like I'm, I'm gonna save this because I want you to watch it I think this is something that both of us will truly enjoy oh, you guys <laughs> we watched five episodes this week that's all we did we would get up in the morning we would watch the good wife I mean every time we would eat lunch or dinner we would stay up late watching it oh man okay it hit is not for little kids most definitely it is on I believe it was on CBS if you haven't watched it you might want to check it out it's it's really good I mean it has its times where I'm just like oh you know it just kind of goes against my grain a little but for the majority of the show the characters are amazing in it even the guest characters are amazing in it so if you're looking for a really good show to get into check out the good wife either on Hulu you know what now that I'm saying that I think Hulu ended up canceling it and that is why I ended up over on Amazon that's what it was once I started watching it they told they sent a thing across the screen or whatever of Hulu and it said I only had 10 more days to watch it and it's got like I don't even know seven seasons or more above I don't know so we went over to Amazon so if you have Amazon definitely check it out if you're looking for something really good to kind of sink yourself into for just you know filler of all your time that you have Today I am making meatballs. I am going to make extra ones to freeze and then keep some out for dinner tonight because we are having spaghetti and meatballs for dinner tonight. The recipe to this is below if you are looking for a really delicious homemade meatball recipe, definitely grab a hold of it. This one is a keeper. I have not tried any other since this recipe. So I used two pounds of burger and for tonight's dinner I have 10 meatballs and then in each of the freezer bags I have 11. So that did pretty good. We have two more meals on top of that for meatball type meals. I'll figure out what I'm going to do with them. You'll be seeing them in future videos. Timothy had started his one class that he needed to do this summer and he's doing really good in it it's a really easy class so he's he's good Justin is looking for work and not having really any luck at it right now with the economy it's insane but the other day we heard that we have this massive sand, sandstorm coming to Texas from like I mean, I'm sure some of you have heard about it. I think it's like the Sahara Desert or something. And this massive sandstorm is blowing across the ocean, supposed to hit some of California and Texas and areas like that along the ocean. I'm really hoping that it doesn't come this far up. We're not too far from Oklahoma. We're pretty north in Texas. So I'm really hoping it doesn't get this far and that maybe it just kind of stays down in the southern part of Texas because honestly we just got through a whole mess of really heavy winds and sand in our sky like I said in a previous video was like a grayish red we have had massive allergies and sinuses and they are saying right now that with this sand coming over our sinuses and allergies are going to be absolutely horrible in Texas 
Oh, so I'm just really, really praying that it just stays south of us. Sorry for any of you that live in the southern part of Texas. Sorry, but I do not want that up here. <laughs> I hope you all are doing really well. We're doing good here. We have some things that are changing, things that are happening in our home and in our lives. I will be sharing it on here as soon as I get the green light to start sharing it, I will let you know. And of course, through all of our changes, you're gonna come right along with us. I'm telling you, we honestly never have a dull moment. I was on Instagram and I shared it with whoever follows me on Instagram. You saw, I came, I always come out very first thing and tell you on Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, you need to follow me on Instagram and then you can get like the immediate of what's going on here in our household. Good or bad, I jump on and I tell you what's going on. You know that. <laughs> I love connecting with you through Instagram. It is so much fun and we get to have private conversations and just be a part of each other's lives. Plus, I add you and I love to see what you are doing in your life with your family. I just, it's just nice, I like it. So anyway, if you haven't, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. I could use it, please. <laughs> make sure that you hit the bell button too. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you soon.